independent filmmaking is uh, making a film about whatever you want to, however you want to, whenever you want to and with whoever you want to. I think that's how everything should be, right? Especially with filmmaking, uh, we have to be extra mindful of the fact that you know, we are not just doing it for the sake of doing something, right? So everything that we do has to be in alignment with our internal self or with our internal goals or objective or, uh, or philosophy or, or creativity, whatever, or, or mainly our sensibilities, right? So, uh, which is why you, as an independent filmmaker, you need to have the creative freedom. You have to create that freedom for yourself by not thinking about uh, uh, things that are extraneous to making your film. Because what is the most essential thing to make your film? You know, the will to make your film. Uh, because are you really, uh, do you really want to do it? You know, is, that's a question uh, you have to ask yourself. And why do you want to do it? And if you answer that question, then I think we'll have a lot more clarity as to why we are doing something in the first place. Uh, clarity as to uh, how we can do it. So if you answer the why, I think the how will uh, automatically manifest itself. One of the things that has really stopped me from uh, pursuing the kind of things that I want to be doing is, uh, I think, the concept of perfection. Uh, which I'm sure a lot of creative people have this idea that if we are doing something it has to be good it has to be like really perfect and it has to be impeccable without any faults and that we can't fail and all those kinds of things but I think once we take out the concept of perfection out of our minds while creating something then I think uh, it's much easier to uh, play around with what we want to do then I think uh, something uh, very organic comes out of us and something very authentic comes out of us because we are not really afraid of uh, being perfect in the first place. So, uh, and also if we take out the concept of failure, you know, like what if we are not able to achieve what we want to achieve uh, creatively or technically uh, or, you know, even the way that you want to tell a story. I think it's okay to to, to you know make mistakes and uh, be imperfect and fail you know if you if you uh, are into that word uh, because there's no such thing as as a, as a failure uh, because uh, I heard a filmmaker recently talk about uh, the making of a film as you know uh, what is the path to uh, filmmaking uh, filmmaking is filled with obstacles so we really cannot avoid what kind of challenges that are going to uh, that we are going to face so the obstacle is the path so how do we overcome that and how do we uh, go over little little things over time um, so and then solve problems one by one so that we can get to uh, a stage where uh, you know we say that we have completed something as opposed to you know we just constantly doing something and not able to and not being able to finish something for example even for this video uh, i thought i was initially thinking whether should i light it properly should i light it perfectly before i make a video then i was thinking oh should i shoot it in a cell phone or should i just use my dslr like i'm using right now so these are questions you know see if if i really want to say something then i just i think i should just say something right i should just say that particular thing because that is, I, you know, because I just want to express something. So, and sometimes the medium doesn't matter. Sometimes the way you're doing it doesn't matter. But what you're uh, expressing matters. I'm just going to take my camera, just set it up and just start shooting and just start talking. I, I haven't even, um, you know, prepared for this shoot. Independent filmmaking is often very synonymous with uh, low budget filmmaking. Which is very true because when you have an independent voice, when you have uh, a unique voice that you want to share uh, everything is not going to align itself for you you know people are not going to relate to what you're trying to say because you might have a very different concept of what a particular thing should be or can be so when everybody doesn't align with that then what do you do you know you don't wait for everybody to uh, to let you make what you want to make and if if it is something and if you have uh, and if you can create the basic and if you can learn the basic skills or the basic uh, uh, 
uh, even if you just muster up the basic courage to say what you want to say, then I think uh, the mediums uh, and uh, the how will not really matter. Uh, because like I said, if you know the why, then the how is going to manifest itself. With low budget filmmaking, some of the uh, things that you can do in order to complete your project is, you know, I think there are like five or six things that I would say to actually start making your film the way you want to. Number one, conceptually, write something that you know or write something that you are curious about uh, or write something that you can get more uh, information about. So things that you can write, you know, in your uh, capability, whatever you have gone through or whatever you are trying to say, you know, you just say it. So once you have written something that you know about, then it is easy, you know, you already have all the elements that you have, you have in mind onto paper. So when you are making a low budget film, you know, these are some, there are some things that you can consider while doing it because uh, as you are writing, because writing is the first stage to, uh, to manifesting your ideas and it doesn't all have to be very grand or very uh, multi-dimensional or anything, it can be a very very simple thing. Uh, so take a simple concept that you want to, you know, that you are really uh, excited about, that you really care about and then start putting it in a way that is more uh, physically or practically uh, possible. In the sense that don't write things that you can't shoot, basically. Uh, so, so I would call this kind of writing uh, as hinged writing. So where you have certain limitations and within these limitations you operate, you think about what are the things that you can show or that you can convey with whatever you have. So, uh, so second thing is use the things that you have around you. Uh, for example, if you have a cell phone camera, just use it. If you have a DSLR, use it. You know, you don't have to wait for an RE Alexa or a RED camera or whatever or any of the big cameras to you know do what you want. So, um, and if you have a particular location or if you have a particular kind of, uh, you know, if you uh, have a basic editing software, just use it. Use whatever you have to make uh, your writing into uh, a reality. Use the things that you have and the things that you can get either from friends or from uh, family or from however you know you want to get it. But you should be able to get it, you know. So use those things in your writing, in your concept, in your story, uh, in your screenplay so that, you know, you're not looking for things while you're shooting and you're not able to get something and then you said, and then you get really tired of looking, uh, looking for it and then you stop your uh, process. Uh, so, and uh, most important thing is get people who you can... Uh, who you can get basically, who you can uh, assemble together, even if it's just five people or four people or even two people, you know, actually even one person, just you alone is fine to, uh, to make something because I recently finished a project with no crew, with no cast, literally just myself, so, you know, and it was just a pure experiment as to, you know, what I can do alone in terms of uh, like a truly independent film. So make something that you want to see on screen because your passion will be best reflected when you do that. The moment we uh, second guess our audience, I think that's when uh, uh, things are going to, you know, fall flat because it's not going to, you're not going to sound authentic or uh, sound very organic uh, because you're thinking like as to how are you going to please the audience, you know. I think your first audience should be yourself and the only, and you should be the only audience for what you're making because uh, your sensibilities should reflect on what you're doing and that is how uh, something and that is how your voice, you know, your uniqueness as a, uh, as a narrative storyteller can be uh, expressed. So, uh, yeah, I think if, I mean, all these points are also for myself because I have been at various stages of, I have had multiple projects which I have not completed, you know, they are at various, various stages of development and, uh, you know, I have finished projects also which like uh, 99% uh, you know, finished but then you know they're not completely finished so, so there are so many things that keep us from uh, that stop us from doing you know uh, the thing that we want and uh, distributing you know the work that we have if we uh, take away the concept of perfection and failure out of the equation of creating uh, then I think we will be in a much better position to uh, continue creating our art and actually finishing them so I hope this uh, random using um, can help some of you in some way and so yeah eventually we are going to be documenting the process of our entire film uh, in our YouTube channel uh, or in our Insta Reels 
Uh, so uh, watch out for this space uh, for more updates about independent filmmaking and if you have any questions about independent filmmaking uh, you know just please uh, uh, write to us or just comment we can start this discussion more you know in a very casual way without being too formal and uh, I hope this can help at least a few filmmakers or aspiring filmmakers that are really wanting to do something uh, that are really wanting to finish their projects so 